Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy. I'm on my way to pick up my daughter. I think she's developed a little routine of coming home on Saturdays to do laundry, which I didn't really think that was going to happen, but it is what it is. So I get to go on my beautiful drive across the ocean and pick up my daughter. So I will probably talk to you on the way there, talk about some things and stay tuned. You know, I wear a mask so much, I didn't even realize I had left my mask on. <laughs> but with teaching and everything, I just wear it all the time now, everywhere. And so, anyway, I've even been wearing it sometimes when I'm driving, and I think, why do I have my mask on? So now I understand why people may have their mask on driving. You just forget to take it off. But I don't like it. I do it because I have to, so it's off. And I have a little friend who came along. She would not let me get out of the house. Just jumping, jumping, jumping. Wanted to go. So, say hello, Bella. So, heading over. I don't even know what this body of water is. I know I crossed the Manatee River. There it is again. I crossed the Manatee River earlier. And I wish I could show you this side. I need to show you this other side. There's like RVs park, and I see this one RV there all the time. But I didn't think there's overnight parking here. Oh, and this one guy with the, this truck camper is really unique. I've got to get the over on that side. But I've seen him there several times. I want to talk to these people. Say, hey, are you living over here or what? See, there's the bridge. I see these pelicans flying. It reminds me of Jurassic Park. Fortunately, I 
didn't hit my head or break any bones, but because I fell at work, of course, you have to call it in. So I, had, I went to the clinic. I reported it because I didn't want to not report it and get in trouble or not report it and something happened. So, and of course, it's the ankle that I had surgery on that twisted. <clears throat> I did have a brace on because I wear a brace on that ankle all the time now. But... Our child uh, vehicle stopped on shoulder. I don't know why my GPS is on. I turned it off. Okay. So, there is a vehicle stopped on the road again. If you look on, you'll see some windsurfers. Last weekend, there were a ton of them. So one surfers over here. And there's more RVs parked over there too. Some may just come and spend the day. But when I came back the other day, I guess last Saturday, it was dark and it was night and there were still RVs parked there. I'm hoping tonight we don't come back so late because I might pull off and stop. see these wind surfers. So, I mean, I'm okay. They did give me another break, a break, another brace for my ankle, which it is better, and they told me not to walk on it, which is very funny. Um, somebody did loan me one of those wheelie things, so I will use that when I have to walk a long distance. But, just for everyday things, I'm not going to put it on. But it does feel better, and actually my other injury feels better. I think the brace is just better. So I'll wear the brace, for sure. I don't know for how long, hopefully. If I wear the brace for three or four months, I'm hoping maybe I can start going without a brace and wear a tennis shoe. But every time I try that, I get pain in that foot, so I go back to the brace. All right, so teaching's okay. You know, it is what it is. It's a job. I'm hoping once my salary gets started, one, I got to get caught up on everything, which I don't know how many months that's going to take. And then my goal is to save for, you know, my camper or, or truck, van, whatever. Oh, and I'm going to post some links below because I found this gypsy camper. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. I've got to go see these. They're in Florida. And um, it's not close, but I can make a trip out of it, I hope. So I'm hoping to make a trip out of it and go see these campers. And there is somebody who rents them. And in fact, you can sign up to rent them, but I don't know how that would work. But it's interesting and it's intriguing. And they look like gypsy campers, and I just love them. Not cheap, of course, but not overly expensive either. I mean, it's pretty, I don't know if it's pretty reasonable. I think they run about $10,000, but you know, most campers, new campers, that's what you're looking at. But we'll see. So I'm going to post the links below. I looked at that camper, and then I also looked at, I look at the We Roll camper. So I want to post both those links, and y'all let me know what you think. Let's see if sailboats are out there. I just love, I love this drive. Well, I love to see the water. I haven't been to the beach, and I keep thinking about going, but it's October, and everybody has their fall break. So it kind of scares me about the beach is being really busy. So I don't know if I want to go in October. Okay, I wanted to turn it around because the water is mostly gone. I'm almost to the college. Once I get over the bridge, the college is like the first exit all. So it's pretty quick. On the other side, it takes a while to get to the bridge. But so two different campers I'm looking at. I want your opinion. One is these gypsy campers, and I'm going to post the links below. And the other one is um, the We Roll Camper. I'm going to post the links below so you can look at them and tell me what you think. And then the decision is, do you get a pickup truck if you're going to tow something, or do I get a minivan so I have the inside of the minivan as well? to make a bed or something in case somebody wants to come and travel with me. 
so like one of my children if they were to come I mean I could always have a tent available but if it's hot or cold you know you want to be in from the elements the gypsy camper or the re-roll doesn't have a ton of room the we roll you would be converting the whole thing yourself it would be insulated and it has the power and then you would add the air conditioner so it's something you would build out yourself and the uh, gyp I'm just gonna call it the gypsy trailer the gypsy trailers um, they're built out but and they have the outdoor kitchen which I like um, I would only cook inside if I had to if the weather wouldn't permit me to be outside otherwise I'd always be outside um, so yeah check these out and let me know what you think comment below let me know what you think about these campers and um, I still have another camper I like. It's the A-frame pop-up camper. That one I like too. I think about small. I want it to be small, but I want to be able to stand. That I know is something I want. So anyway, check these out. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video because I'm almost to the school. And um, I just wanna give you update one, teaching, it's going okay. Um, you know, it's okay. I will survive. I always count down at six weeks till Thanksgiving and I have a week off. Now, I have looked for campgrounds and stuff. There is nothing available where I live. Absolutely nothing. Everything is booked. So I guess I didn't realize everybody goes camping on Thanksgiving, but everybody's camping now. <sighs> so anyway, that's not going to work out for me. I would have loved to have gone for a couple days somewhere, but it's just, I can't find, I can't find a place that has availability. All right. So just an update, check these campers out and I will talk to y'all later. Be blessed and find you.